if children walk in front of me while I am praying, does this affect the validity of my prayer? This question is in relation to the sunnah of using a sutra or barrier in prayer. It is recommended in the Shafi'i school and in other madhaib as well to take a sutra or some sort of a barrier in front of a person when they pray. Uh, it is recommended that the barrier be approximately 30 to 32 centimeters in height in front of oneself. Um, so a little barrier that's, you know, from the floor upwards. If one cannot do that, then to draw a line on the ground that's sort of stretched out in front of one, straight out, perpendicular to one's chest, and about a meter and a half or less in front of one. And once you've established that barrier, it becomes unlawful for anyone to pass between the person praying and such a barrier, even if there's no other way to pass, right? So that's the, the ruling in relation to a barrier. The Prophet uh, used to have a barrier in this form. Um, the barrier of the imam suffices for the for the jama'ah. And if the imam is praying at the front of the masjid where there's a mihrab or a mimbar, uh, that, you know, something in front of the imam, that would suffice as a barrier. If there's no barrier in front of a person praying, right, or if the person is praying farther than a meter and a half from that barrier, then passing in front of that person is no longer unlawful, but it is makru, right? So this is in general, taking the barrier is the sunnah, passing in between the person and the barrier is unlawful. Um, if it is the, fa the, the, the latter description where, uh, the barrier is too far in front of the person or there's no barrier at all, then passing in front of the person is disliked and not unlawful. Now, naturally with children, um, it depends on the child's age. Children should be taught, starting from the age of seven, in a slow, gentle, uh, very understanding way, the rules and the etiquettes of the pre. When they reach the age of 10, their learning should become somewhat more strict about the pre, the etiquettes of the pre. So they should be taught at a young age. Uh, the etiquettes of not passing in front of a person while they pray, and, and, and so forth. However, in the case of younger children, uh, much younger children, children who still play around, for example, they, they haven't yet reached the age of discrimination or tamiz, there are, of course, reports of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu praying while Sayyidina Hassan, Sayyidina Hussein would play on his back while in sajda, and he would remain like that so that they could play and would only rise from his sajda after they had concluded playing. So one must understand, of course, that small children are going to do things that you don't have control over. While the general ruling is that if somebody passes in front of you while you have a barrier, that you should block them. If they push, you should push back. If they become aggressive in their pushing, you can push them back. If they end up getting hurt or even accidentally passing away, you are not responsible. Yes, that is the case. Under normal circumstances, there's this um, rule, mostly hypothetical, you know, you're not you're really supposed to uh, hurt somebody in that sense. But when you apply this rule to children, of course, if it ends up being a, a battle between you and the child and you constantly have to move, you may end up having to move so much that you're not concentrating in your prayer. Your prayer might be broken if you move unnecessarily. So I believe that the best approach is uh, do what you can. And if it's uh, clearly not going to be reasonable to fight with this child, uh, you know, to not pass in front of you, then don't bother doing so at all. Will the child's passing in front of you affect the validity of your prayer? Will your prayer be invalid uh, in that sense? No, your prayer will not be invalid. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Don't make things difficult for yourself, inshallah ta'ala. Remember, uh, Allah azza wa jal did not give us this deen to make life uncomfortable and difficult. So if a child needs attention while you are praying, and you can find a way to, you know, provide the child with whatever attention they need, provided that your, your movements are minimal and your concentration remains intact. Do what you need to do, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, Allah Azza wa Jal had given us certain parameters uh, of flexibility within the prayer. And this is, of course, uh, something that our deen uh, gives us in every facet of our ibadah. Uh, not, not, not flexibility for the sake of desire, but flexibility to facilitate the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a way that is conducive and natural for everyone. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah